to this uh, protest. Uh, coming up a little bit later on, Grover Norquist, Americans for Tax Reform uh, founder and president. He will be at the uh, um, Chess Hall of Fame uh, tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, for a book signing and a book reading. Um, he's uh, speaking. It's a fundraiser for the Show Me Institute. So uh, we'll have him on the show here in a bit. Uh, the story you've been talking about all morning long is that this um, uh, SNAP, which is a survivor's network for those abused by priests, this uh, David Clossy, who my heart goes out to this guy every time I talk to this guy. This guy's been abused by a priest and started this sort of support group and has vowed to sort of um, bring awareness, right? And, and, and has... For many, many years. Many, many years. And has done a tremendous job of bringing awareness to the media, to the public. He's a spokesperson. Uh, he follows these stories. He also helps the victims, right? He's one of these few people who comes to help the victims when everyone else looks at the victim like the victim did something wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have no... I have... I've From afar, I've always respected what David Clossy has done. Um, anyway, so they're going to hold a vigil th- this afternoon outside the uh, Basilica protesting the comments that were released um, in this deposition. Um, so it's going to be at 2 p.m. Uh, on Lindell there mm-hmm. um, for this for this protest. I wonder if Archbishop Robert Carlson is going to come out. No. We were talking about this on the break. Really, the only thing they can do now is if the Pope or Timothy Dolan, the Cardinal in New York, who's from St. Louis, comes out and says, you know what, you, you, you know, you're still a good man, you, you still do wonderful things, you still have a value in this church, but uh, it's best for everybody to find a new archbishop for St. Louis. I, I don't know how this man can continue to do his job. I just don't know how he can do it. It's, it, I can't believe I'm even saying these words. Um, it's just so unacceptable what this man said. And I hate being in this position. I despise it. I hate it. Um, but the facts are what the facts are. you got to go where the facts take you. And there, there is, if the, I haven't, you have yet to see any Facebook posting, any email, any Twitter, anything to come across my desk in which somebody is coming to this man's defense. Not even the archdiocese is coming to this man's defense. Their statement they released says, okay, well, yeah, he didn't know years ago, but now he does. So it's not like a, any big deal because now he knows. It, it, it just it doesn't, it just is not going to work. You just can't do it. And in this day and age of spin and hyperspin, and um, defending your own, going down with, with with a ship on your own. When your own people leave you, then it's time to go. And when the devout Catholics in St. Louis are saying what they're saying, when the people who have defended the Catholic Church through this entire ordeal are now starting to question and criticize this archbishop, that is, it is rocking this archbishop to its core and rocking, and, and, and the, the entire St. Louis Metropolitan Catholic community by this is rocked to the core. And there's no other option, but no, no, this man cannot continue to do his duties. I'm sure he's a very nice man. I think I've met him once or twice. I have nothing but the nicest things to, to say about him, but... If I was in the room with him, you have to be able to speak truth to power. And the truth is, is that I don't think he will be able to continue to do his job. And and he wants what's best for the region. And he wants what's best for the Catholic Church. And what's best for the Catholic Church right now is for him to step aside. You know, I... I, 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 I'm going to let you speak on no, that. No, no, no. I, yes. I appreciate it. I appreciate you and I, I appreciate your situation. And, and I'm not saying this as a talk show host. I'm not saying this as a... As a provocateur, I'm not saying this is anything other than a lay Catholic who puts money in the, the till on a Sunday and goes to my Catholic charity events and part of the Catholic community and the community at, at large. 
I mean, you know, we, we can disagree about all sorts, sorts of things, but we all agree that we're all trying to move the entire region forward, however that may be. And I don't know who's going to tap. You know, the governor can't tap him on the shoulder. The, go- the mayor doesn't tap him on the shoulder. The county executive does, doesn't tap him on the shoulder. No one t- who's going to tell this, this man, you can't do it. But when the money starts drying up, when he starts being disinvited to events, um, you know, uh, I don't. I don't know how he can continue to continue to do his job. I do find it interesting. I'm looking on um, Archdiocese of St. Louis Twitter page, and it says, "See, um, see the statement on our website to clear up confusion surrounding Archbishop Carlson's deposition controversy." Right. Can clear up confusion. <laughs> Is anyone confused? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think if, no, I don't think they they used to be confused. I I, I was confused twenty years yes. ago, but now I'm not confused. I think we can all agree that today, going forward, that uh, adult men who wear the collar and they uh, um, prey on young boys, I think we can all agree today that that is wrong. And I think we can. It just the man was what thirty five, thirty six year, years old when he he claims. He didn't know whether it was a crime or not. Yeah. And I love how they also, I'm looking at the at the actual statement, and it says, recent inaccurate and misleading report reporting by certain media outlets has impugned Archbishop Carlson's good name and reputation. Yeah. So okay. basically they're hunkering down. Yeah. 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 It's everybody else's fault. And that's making me mad. Because we are a part of the media. That's right. It's everybody else's fault. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Putting it on us. Excuse me. Here's a videotaped deposition of what you said in court. How are we misleading? How are we? How are we? (laughs) I'm sorry. I actually thought what you said was right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I mean, it's they're going to do this. They're going to hunker down. They're going to close ranks. Clearly, they're not wrong, and that's going to be worse. It's going to be worse. And this is a situation where absolute power corrupts absolutely. And somebody's got to get in there and speak truth to power and say, you people are tone deaf if you can't hear the outrage and the outcry and the sadness coming from the Catholic community. If they, if they don't hear that and they don't see that, there, there's no hope for them, and I'm I'm talking as a Catholic. Um, it is this is as bad as it gets. It's as bad as it gets. And then to to blame to blame the messengers, right? To 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 oh wait a minute, what he said was fine. He says he it's wow. All right, mm-hmm. it shows you how out of touch they really are. Um, this is um, this is bad. As I've said all day and all yesterday. 728 here. Traffic, weather, sports. Straight ahead. Big 550 KTRS. Hi, this is Jeff Lapita, Cerebral.